Hi, in this series of video tutorial, we're going to see how we can build a cryptocurrency trading bot that works with Binance Exchange. Binance Exchange is now a very popular cryptocurrency exchange. And But first, in this video, uh, I will go over the fundamentals of uh, the indicators that I'm going to use. And what you see now is the charts, the candlestick chart of uh, Bitcoin price from January 1st of 2018 to almost now. And uh, so there are three lines on this chart, which are Bollinger Bands. Uh, the, the middle one is a simple moving average. The upper one is a the simple moving average plus two times the standard deviation and the lower one is simple moving average minus two times uh, standard deviation. To go over quickly or what they are, uh, for more information you can visit this website stockcharts.com. It has a chart school and then you can see all the indicators. Here, here there's a list of all the indicators that you can go and study and check uh, if, if you are interested. So moving average, you can see what moving average is, uh, what the formula. First is that uh, it is the sum, uh, actually average of the previous um, prices. So for a five-day SMA, you sum the last five days and divide it by five. And this is the SMA, the simple one. Then there's e e EMA. And the other kinds. So this is the moving average. And moving average, the um, the theory behind it is that if a, a price if price uh, crosses move the moving average, then probably it will continue to that direction. But also in the long term, the prices should return to the moving average. And then there's a Bollinger Bands, uh, which measures volatility and the formula is uh, as what i said is plus two times the standard deviation and the, the upper band and lower band is minus two times standard deviation so it shows how uh, volatile the prices are so for example here that suddenly it has uh, gone up then you see a uh, division and more in the bands and then uh, the next uh, indicator that I will show and explain shortly, I have uh, plotted in a separate cell here is ADX, which is a good measure how uh, fast they are, they, everything is going. So uh, it, it shows the movement and it's a good measure to see if uh, things are changing quickly or not. So, and the formula is more complicated than the previous ones. And yeah, there are three, normally you see three lines, uh, plus DI and minus DI, and then ADX. What I am considering only is ADX. So these are the three indicators that I am considering to use, but uh, not sure about ADX, I've worked with it before. And uh, the thing, the problem with it is that uh, when this, uh, when everything is changing, it's not going to react quickly because it's getting the average from the past uh, prices. So to begin the code, first, uh, if you have watched my previous tutorials, you know that I use Anaconda. Anaconda distribution has uh, many packages and also installs. Uh, this Jupyter Notebook that I'm using and uh, Spider, which is an ID for Python, more for scientific work. So uh, I assume you have installed Anaconda and you have Jupyter Notebook or you know what you're doing. So first I import pandas as PD, then read uh, my prices. So uh, if you watch my previous video, I will show how you can uh, do this. You, I have saved it in a CSV file. Then, because 
as we will see, uh, the library I use for plotting, Plotly, is a bit uh, heavy to work and it's uh, CPU consuming. I only plot uh, the dates after 1st, of, uh, 1st January of 2018, then I set the index uh, open time. So the library that we work to calculate the indicators is TALIP. Uh, TALIP is uh, difficult to install on Windows or uh, in, in general it's a bit tricky so there is an easy way to install it and that's going to this website that you see when you go to the website and there are many Python packages and wrappers for them so this is a wrapper for TALIP you will find the uh, first you need to know if your uh, computer is a 32 bit or 64 so when you know that then you should know your python version so i have a, a 3.6 version i and my computer is 64 bit i click on this i download it i have already done it then when you download it what you do is uh, you cd to your um download the directory cd means change directory and you go there and after you have done that you just do a pip install so pip install is like pip install and then the name of the file that has has been downloaded like this for me and then you need to add this dot whl yourself manually after you do and you finish you import talib talib and then you just get the uh, NumPy values of uh, your your prices because uh, the BTC data frame is a Pantas object, and we want to convert it to NumPy arrays. That's how we do it. Close price, high price, and low price. That's what we need for a, uh, for all of them that I'm going to use. I'm not going to use uh, SMA because Bollinger Bands have one. For Bollinger Bands, just simply talib.bbands and then you uh, use close price and time period. Time period, um, what I've used is because I have a half, half an hour um, price chart, a price table, then to, and I want to have uh, for one week the indicator to be for one week then i multiply 48 which is how many half an hour we have in a day by seven i get 336 and this uh, number is only by guess and we can uh, tune this number later when we backtest our strategy then AD, adx sim simply talib.adx High is high price, low, low price, close, and the same. Then we want to plot to see how it looks like because it gives a better idea of what we are doing. Then we need to, uh, if we want to plot candlestick, it's very easily done with uh, Plotly. So Plotly uh, is, um, is an open source as well. And you can see there is an option for candlestick charts. Then if you click on it, it, it has a tutorial by itself. But uh, the difference here is that uh, I'm not going to use it online. I want to use it offline. So this is the important part, plotly.offline as py. And in the tutorial, you see here, it says, um, if you go higher, yeah, plotly.plotly. So don't do this, plotly.offline as py. Then uh, import plotly.graph objects as go, and then you add this uh, for the notebook. Then you, that how we do it to plot it is you say the name of the line you want to put. In the tutorial, see it has used a trace uh, as name, and in the figure uh, as well, you will see trace. And then you go dot candlestick, you put the X, which is time, and then open, close, high, low. You define all of these. And then for Bollinger Bands, 
we go go that scatter because we want a line x is time and then bollinger index zero gives us the um, trace zero as we look it look at it then the upper line index zero and then uh, the same so then we put data uh, to go that data and then a list of all the data so price chart bollinger line zero bollinger line one and then you just simply plot pi that pi that i plot then the data here and the type is simple candlestick then we can plot it and as you can see we have a an interactive uh, chart that we can see all the prices wherever we want we can uh, also s zoom in it's it's a bit slow you know because it's a uh, very uh, here so if we just want to zoom we can say where you want to choose like only the last maybe month and it takes a bit of time to zoom yeah so then we have time from uh, we have the chart from april to current time and then the same for eight days i plotted in a separate cell exactly the same so this was the first video to go over the indicators and a bit of plotting i hope you have found it uh, helpful and looking forward in the next video